Uh, we are reviewing first for us pre-mixed Ooh. drink a seltzer what would you call it i know it's technically called a seltzer but i think it's like a vodka soda like a cocktail i don't know what cat i'm trying to find a category that this would yeah, be listed under i would just it, it's a hard seltzer so i'm just gonna put it in seltzer yeah Vizzy. Vizzy. and it's the pineapple mango mango ananas pineapple mango for those listening at home <laughs> <laughs> cheers That's sweet. Yeah, but no sugar. Just asparagus. Asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no sugar in them. Mm-hmm. But no fiber is, either. That's a rough one for me. <laughs> you, you need your fiber. You need your daily fiber. <laughs> Not getting it in your greens. Not enough. <laughs> that is. Uh, it's sweet. It's very mango. It says sugars on the ingredients but but it's got zero wait, grams of sugar wait read the ingredients uh carbonated water vodka natural flavor sugars i guess uh, it's referring to the sugars oh, of the concentrate juice concentrate mm-hmm. so what's that they just like take a pineapple and then just squeeze the shit out of it I but then so. wouldn't there be sugars like shouldn't there be sugars listed well, obviously, it's probably like 0.99 grams of, of gram? sugar. <laughs> so okay, well, that's, that's I'll give better. it to you. I'm still yeah. zero grams. Yeah, it's still zero. It's very sweet, but it's not got all the sugar in it. So mm-hmm. You're not going to have a crazy ass hangover. No. Like maybe if you drink 30, because then you're getting 30 grams. Yo, you're trying to rip my mic out, bro. You put it in my toes. You put it in your own toes. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I f- always feel like I like mango, and then when it Tell rolls around, it. I'm like, I don't like mango. I don't I'm, know why. I'm not a fan of, like, I don't know if this is real mango. I think it's as real as it gets. Oh, I don't yeah. Think, yeah, I think this is it. Do you know how, like, <laughs> juices are, like, the actual flavor, but on steroids? Mm-hmm. I think that's what this is. Like, actual mango is, I love it. Like, yeah. to slice up a mango, but, like... To drink it, not my favorite. I think I'd rather drink it than taste a mango. I'm not so sold on them. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. I don't okay, know why. Okay. It's a mango thing for me. <laughs> Is it? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So, this is a Vizzy Hard Seltzer. Yeah. Pineapple mango flavor. Yeah. And on the can, it says sparkling hard seltzer with a Cirola cherry. What? So now I'm even more confused. Say that again. <laughs> Sparkling hard seltzer. Yeah. With acerola cherry. The fuck is an acerola? Some sort of cherry, it would seem like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whatever the fuck that but is. But I don't think that's part of the flavor. 5%. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, 5%. Like, I'm good for like maybe two of these. Mm-hmm. These are very refreshing. Actually, quite nice. Um, I am a fan of uh, like vodka sodas, preferably these days the buble, the old bubbles, and uh, and some vodka. These seltzer things though are quite good. Yeah, they're just pricey for now. For yeah, now, yeah. Uh, this well, if you if you notice like all the vodka soda drinks, so socialite was like the first one that really got popular. Yep. And then now there's like a ton of them in the market and the price of socialites are actually extremely reasonable now. Cause uh, it's like the cost of like buying a 12 pack of beer. Whereas before it was like fucking like double the price of what a 12 pack somebody, would cost. Somebody brought them the other weekend and uh, yeah, a friend of ours, she was saying it was like 24 bucks or like, yeah, it was almost like, I don't know how many she bought 12 pack. It was a 12 pack and it was yeah. like 24 bucks. Mm-hmm. Fuck. That's a big difference in price That's now. Like, Buying a case of beer. Exactly. Yeah. Well, so I'm, I'm fucking sold on those more than a case of beer or something. Yeah. So the seltzers now, I'm sure it's the same thing. Like there's only a few on market, but as more flood in the market, the price will come down. Yeah. It, well, it's just a matter of time. Mm-hmm. Have you seen the Bud Light ones anywhere? Uh, I didn't know that they made one. I'm not surprised. I know Coors Light makes one. I, I, I hear, think they're all doing it now. I hear a shit ton of hype on uh, on the interwebs. 
the old interwebs for, yeah. for the Bud Light seltzers, but uh, never seen them here. I've that, looked, but never seen them. Best one I've had so far in the market, and I don't even know if they're selling it in stores or just at their brewery, but Flying Monkeys Brewery out of Barrie. Okay. It's quite popular in Ontario. You can find their beers in most bars and restaurants yeah. and LCBOs and, and, and beer yeah. stores and stuff. Um, they had one, went up there a couple months back, and it was, they had two types. There was one that was like an orange creamsicle seltzer, and then they had like more like just like a lime flavor one. Both fantastic. How was that orange sickle? Little sweet for me. Yeah. But the other one was like probably the best one I've ever had. Did it have sugar in it? I think they were each like maybe a gram. Okay. So the same. Same. Basically, I put them in the same ballpark. But the second one, I wish I could remember the flavor was, it's my favorite one on the market for sure. Okay. And I had a try. Yeah. Hopefully, wasn't reason, unreasonably they come priced. the beer store. LCBO. I think LCBO is where you get the seltzers, right? For the most part, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. It's so convoluted here. Yeah. Wherever so you can dumb. fucking find them. Yeah. Just in this province, at least. Yeah. So what I'm are sure your, it's dumb what or another your, province. Uh, what's your virgin like? <laughs> it wasn't warm, that's for sure. No. Um, hmm. My virgin is a 7.1. Okay. Okay. How about you? I think I'm going... Hmm. I'm going to go 7.3 on the virgin. 7.3. Yeah. I can do my finish right now. So can I. Yeah, I don't like it. I was, I was kind of... Oh, I almost gave my score for the Virgin as my finish, just because I took a sip. I almost threw it backwards. Okay, so what's your finish? My finish is a uh, six six. It's a bit of a weird. I don't. Yeah, I, I'm I, not. I'm not much further below. I'm like six point four, six point six yeah, point four. There's, I think it's like the mango. It's that. Yeah, it's uh, very it's overpowering. A, yeah, and, and it's a weird. Like once it's down, that like the aftertaste. It's not great. It's not the greatest. Mm-mm. Like, it's not t- like, I'm not going to throw up because of it, but I've had worse. That's for sure. But it's yeah. definitely not great. Yeah, that's, that's me. It's the mango flavor. It's like super overpowering. Yeah. And it's like got a strange flavor to it. Yeah. Um, I wonder I, who comes up with these fucking flavors. Because pineapple mango a- is pretty, seems like on paper a good combo. Yeah, and, but it's like everybody does it. I'm pretty sure that's they probably uh, do it on social lights. They probably do it on uh, easiness of, of of ingredients and. But uh, why put them together? Why, why not, not just why why not just do a mango and just a pineapple? And just a pineapple. I see. I don't know if they I really complement each other as much as everybody likes to think they do. If this was just pineapple, I'd be all over it. I think me too. Yeah. The the mango's like. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> um, weirdly, though, I'm going to give it a high score on flavor. All that said. Well, the flavor's there. You can't yeah. you can't give it a low score. It's not like it doesn't have flavor. Because really, like, before, like, all washes down, you get a fair bit of, uh, of uh, pineapple taste. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go 7.9. Okay, yeah, I'm right there with you. I'm, I, mine's a little higher, going 8.1. Mm-hmm. No. It's easy to compartmentalize this one. It doesn't like. I, I think you're you're not loving the flavors. Like I don't absolutely hate it. Mm. I actually quite it's like just, the flavor. It, it's overpowering. Mm-hmm. And then I find I but I find it's more overpowering on the finish. That's why I was able to yeah. kind of separate the two yeah. here. Okay, I, I agree with you there. Yeah. Um. What's next? Smoothness or smell? Whichever you prefer. Oh, I didn't even smell it. Actually, I really like the smell. It smells great. <laughs> <laughs> smells like a candle Audrey would bring home. You know? I love candles. <laughs> I used to be a candle hater, but I like them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here. I'm right there with you, man. Yeah. Okay. I'm not a candle hater. Mm. I'm just not going to go out of my way to get a candle. Yeah, sure. I'm also not... I don't even know where you can buy <laughs> candles, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also... 
not going to go out of my way to light the candle. Oh, I'll light them. Yeah? Yeah. I'm a big fan of lighting candles. I'll just like go upstairs and Audrey's got one burning in the room. I'm You're like, like oh, this fuck, it smells fantastic. It's magical in here. It's great. Yeah. I will, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, not as, I'm not afraid of lighting candles. Oh, I'm not I'll like, afraid I'll like of walk through the house and be like, light where's all. this candle? This <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> is like a shrine. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> oh, man. Um, it smells great. Uh, 8.9. Oh, okay. It's high for me. Yeah. It smells really good. It actually smells fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go 8-9 with you on that. Okay. Now, I have a problem rating the smoothness. Got it. How are you going about this? Because, like, it's a seltzer. It's not supposed to taste like alcohol. Mm Mm-hmm. So it's not like there's a burn. It's fizzy. Like, are we going off of, like, how fucking fizzy this thing is? Um... Cause you know some like the fucking bublés. You ever crack one of those open? Try to drink that shit out of a can. Yeah, they can be a little overpowering. Holy shit! Now I think they do it like beer, where you're supposed to over carbonated. Yeah, and yeah. you're supposed to pour it out so it's still carbonated, but not fucking all carbonation. How am I going to do this? I think similar to the same way that we that I was planning on rating um, the cocktail cocktails. Is that it's obviously not going to have flavor or um, burn. It's not meant to have burn or anything like that or well, a large alcohol taste. Um, so I think smoothness can almost almost be judged as like drinkability. Like, okay. you know what I mean? Like, sure. it's, it's separate like, from flavor, separate finish. Not just that, but also like, are you happy drinking it? Like, is it enjoyable to go through? Yeah, okay. Um. I mean, obviously, like you said, it's like, I mean, we we could have cocktails and these things. You can give it ten. Like, well, that's it's like drinking I mean. juice, yeah. right? It's nothing. Yeah. Um, Compared to a glass of whiskey. But smoothness has got to be. It's like, what's it like? Synonym for smoothness is probably like drinkability or some shit like that. Yeah, sure. Do you have a, thes- a thesaurus available? Let's pull it up. <laughs> yeah, let me pull it out of my back pocket <laughs> real quick. <laughs> uh, that's what I think. I think. You can just rate it on how would you do you enjoy drinking it? Would you continue drinking it? Is there like is it super bitter? Is it too sweet? Because those things are separate from the flavor and finish, yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay. So I think yep. that those things can factor in. Okay. Um it's gonna be right there with any whiskey or anything like that. It's gonna be like in the nines for me. Mm-hmm. Cause I could I could have another think, one of these easily. I, I think a disclaimer, I think any cocktail or majority of cocktails in these seltzers, I think the smoothness is going to be high, mm-hmm. especially the seltzers. Like, I don't think there's many out there that are going to be hard to drink. No, there can't be. Well, if they are, yeah, they're not or they're missing do, the market. Yeah, they're not going to do well. <laughs> I wonder if um, these things have sort of like killed the sour pusses of the world. And like those liqueurs that yeah, like maybe. are like in the twenty percent that like like the liqueur we had last uh, last or, week, but we call the whiskey. Yeah, exactly, like that one. <laughs> but more like um, maybe not sourpuss, but like Vex, because okay, Vex was yeah. always like like coolers, huge coolers. Mike's Hard Lemonade, the, all those coolers were like geared towards women, and like when we were growing up, a lot of teenage girls were drinking that shit. When was the last time you saw a Vex? Probably when I was like fifteen. When you got iced. Oh, that's a Smirnoff. That's a, that's a Smirnoff ice. There's Mike's Hard Lemonade, which is similar to that. Yep. And then there's Vex. But they're all in the same category. But the, the always the kicker with those things were is that girls like to drink them because they, were, they easy weren't to easy to drink, but they were fucking full of sugar. Yeah, and they now, kill you. Now, they killed you, but that was the only game in town. It was like you either drank beer, straight liquor, or a cooler. And yeah, cooler always had drink. too much sugar. Now... With these bad boys. You literally got everything in the fucking book. And no sugar. Yeah. I think they might be killing I think I think they've killed the cooler market. I just thought of it now. Never even thought of it. Yeah, I think they've killed the cooler market. I don't even think I could Unless there's like diabetics out there that really like sugar. Now and like enjoy it. I think a lot that, of those that would get a low smoothness. I, I I will bet you that you'll see Smirnoff or and Mike's just 
I don't know about Vex, but... I think Mike's is still around, though. They, they are still around, so is smeared off Ice, but I think you'll see them start to go for a push and advertise, like, low-sugar content. Yeah, they'll start kind of pushing... They'll try to go, like, this route. Towards these, yeah. Because that is their only hang-ups, right? Yeah. Is how fucking sugary they are, and people well, don't like the hangover. Everybody's fight. into fitness these days and eating healthier and watching what they eat, so... Everybody? Well, okay, not this a lot guy, of people that I aren't... Dairy Queen three <laughs> times last week. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even saying everybody is in like, are you sure you're referring to yourself? I just meant generally. Yeah, well, that's kind of... I'd say like, 3% are into that shit. <laughs> but like, I, I feel like more people are like... They're more conscious of it. Yeah, I'm, yeah. like if there's a no sugar option, they're going to go for the no sugar option. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's fair. Um, that's anyway. what I meant by it. I know what you meant. <laughs> just being a smart ass. <laughs> 9.1 on the smoothest scale. Yeah. Um. I could easily drink one more, two more, three more of these, yeah. but then I think I'd probably cap it. I'm right there with you. Unless there was like four different flavors and line them up and I'll knock them down. Yeah, but that's <laughs> only four. Still, yeah, I guess you're right. Right? So, like, yeah. I, I'm not going to go out and buy a 12 pack of these and drink them all night. Mm -mm. I, Socialites, again, I would. Socialites, yeah, I've done it. Yeah. <laughs> many, yeah. many nights. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I, th I, think I'm, I think I'm a little lower than you. Okay. Um, I'm going to go 8-8. And What's your reasoning on that one? Same same reason for you. Like, I'm good for like two. Okay. Or like, almost like a, you ever have like an in-betweener? Like I used to do it with um, Twisted Teas. Drink six beers. Beer kind of gets sick. Oh, I see. Kind of gets sick of beer. Just to change up the pace. Yeah, or you're drinking... Um, Maybe I'm drinking whiskey. Like now, I like the other weekend we drank. We picked up two two fours of Corona. That was the most beer I've ever drank in, in, a long in time. like almost two years, probably. Yeah. and thoroughly enjoyed it because I don't have it very often. Those beers were so good. Yeah. Um. But again, like I was breaking up those beers with whiskey, or I was breaking up the whiskey with a beer. Like the day we did the podcast. We drank that liqueur, which we did call a whiskey on the podcast because none of us were smart enough to look at the, to read the label. Yeah. <laughs> we just, I figured it was a whiskey, like that honey requires flavored. research. Yeah. I thought it was just a honey flavored whiskey. Um, but yeah, I, I would throw these in, in between a couple of drinks. I see what you're saying. Yeah. I'm, I'm in on that because. For a back, pool back, day, like quick pool day. like Yep. Exactly. A couple by the pool, boom. Mm -hmm. These are them. Maybe put it in a fancy glass with an umbrella. I like umbrella drinks. Yeah, right? Who doesn't? Okay, we tied on this. No way. Yep. Wow. I didn't think so. Looking at your scores, you had a lot more eights mixed in, but yeah. I guess I had the nine. Um, okay, so this is an easy one to do. 7.9 overall for both 7 .9? of us. 7.9? 7.9. That's a fair score. Yeah. Um, I think the finish really dragged it down for us. Otherwise, like, not a whole lot yeah, wrong with it. Overpowering mango flavor killed it. Yeah, well, that's it. And so, it's still a good drink. Really good. I I, I am curious though because I think Audrey's got like a blueberry something out there. Ooh. I think they got a few flavors. I'm I'm sure they do. These apparently fly off the shelf right now. Audrey had her cousin put them on hold or some shit because she works at an LCBO. Holy fuck! Yeah, it's all these things. That's how social lights work. Mm -hmm. Man, you'd go in there, couldn't find a, a single thing. No, you're right. Or those um, those vintage iced tea things that I was drinking yep. last year. Those are great. White Claws get picked through clean as well. Yeah. Now, I will say those vintage iced teas, those were loaded with sugar. Yeah. Same with Twisted Teas. They did have a zero sugar one. Which is not I good. didn't mind it. But it definitely isn't as not good. as good. It, it's not the same. But it, like you said, with those ones, if you are just having like one as like an in betweener, if you're drinking beer or whiskey, whatever, yeah. all night, throwing one in there, fuck it, have fun. Yeah, it's whatever. Yeah, it's not going to kill you. I mean, if you're oh, if could. you're pounding on a night, you're good. It's you're going to be hungover <laughs> anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're going to be fucked up anyway. So fuck's who cares? the difference. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, that's the uh, Vizzy Pineapple Mango Hard Seltzer. Very hard, almost erection hard. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he looked. <laughs> I had to see. <laughs> I just wanted to see if it was on YouTube. <laughs> That's hilarious. 